desperate to get back in the hunt for a top eight spot. Jack Carty gets us underway. And it's fielded by Tor back in club colours. Next carry taken on by Matthew Burke. And bursting right through the middle goes Prendergast. And he had O'Halloran alongside him. He doesn't need him. What a start it is for Connick. What a start Darren gave. Unbelievable stuff from Connick. First possession in the game, as you say. Interesting to see Jack Hardy. He's taking the ball a little deeper, but really engaging the line. Predergrass is a lovely line. Tierno O'Halloran's right on his shoulder. Does really well, ball in two hands, talking to each other. Lovely footwork. And that's an unbelievable stop. Past of late is the defensive side of games. Yeah, and if there's one guy that can cause them problems in defence, it's uh, Monty Uwani as he gets his first touch. He'll be a player they're looking to keep quiet tonight. And now, backs may look to go, and Ignacio yeah, Brex back. was just caught, so we'll go back for the penalty. It is in front of the post, and interesting option here for. Takes his time, the cheers go up, the flags go up, and they have got on the board the third phase of the attack. Carty to O'Halloran, who was a bit static, but he managed to get past Yuani. Bielham trying to play the link man. 50 carries for the season. Quick hands from Farrell and nicely on to Fafita. It's an impressive looking start from Connor continues here. Picked up though by Farrell. He's done well to find space, now looking to link it to O'Halloran, who hacks on. A hard scrum to defend for those Connacht, uh, for that better than back line. So it'll be interesting to see what Connacht have up their sleeve here. Spaces and options all over the park. The pickup comes from Paul Doyle. And taken on by Niall Murray, he does get his try. Denied one minutes ago. But there's nothing wrong with this one. The cuff okay. rugby from Connor, the back swept on that short side on the left. Penalty advantage, Boyle did well, he just picked it, got out of the scrum. Good, strong pick and go. Murray arrived just to clean out that rock and just saw there was no pill. And all ready to go for the second half at the Stadio Di Monigo in Treviso. Where Connor to have given themselves a platform of a, an 11 point lead. And they've blown them, but Nico Terra this time finds Federico Roots up. He's back with the hooker. They've got momentum here. It's going to be a big ass for Connick to hold this out. Digging deep, though. The forwards hold up the mall. It's now Riera. They do get it along the line, and there is going to be a try for Eduardo Padovani, set up by Andres Kutsia. And Benetton are in, in the corner for their first try of the game. Bennett, but the passes were too wide. It was too easy to predict the balls in the air too long. Just look how short these passes are. It's a lovely wee flick on. And then just getting over, Padovani gets over in the corner, but the passes are shorter. Mack Hansen tries to shoot through. Montiwani does really well, a player who's known for his running. He catches the ball early. He transfers that ball. And as I said, I feel like at halftime. Set. It's very finely poised. Well, it's another scrum penalty as it collapses on the far side. There's further advantage here for Benetton. Can they strike? Can they find the lead for the first time? That goes forward, but the penalty is coming. There's the man penalised. There's the yellow. Connick down to 14 men. And you feel like what follows could be key in the outcome of this game. Feels like this could be the game right here. Halafi looks to get the shunt on. The scrum goes up. Halafi with the pickup and he stretches for the line and scores. And Benetton lead for the first time. Deserved reward for the dominance that they've gained up front. He's in behind there. He's doing his best. He's popped up. Halafi does really well because we've seen force Connor back in their own half, in their own 22, and say to them, you try and win the game from there. Connor with just one away win all season. That came away to the Scarlets. Tui Mauga 
is next to carry. And Connor, can they convert from short range? It's been pinched illegally, so Connor with the penalty right on their line offside against Benetton. And it now is them that face the yellow card, and they will finish the game with 14 men. It's 15 against 14 again. Connor just short of the line. And they have got over now. The game back in Connick's hands. Was it Tieti? Tui Mauga. To Connick in particular, Jack Carter. Here's the replay. Does well, doesn't he? Just gets so low. You're not going to stop a man like that from there. Ultimately ended up in a yellow card and a try. Connett now four points in front and Bennett have a man in the Simba. And it's the Prosecco corks that will be popping in Irish hands. 